boys and girls. Today we're going to get started with lesson 50. So make sure you have your workbook, pencil, crayons ready so we can do our workbook at the end. Now watch. <clears throat> I'm going to move my finger from something to something else. Let's see if you can tell me how my finger moves. My turn. Watch. There you, I did it. Your turn. Where did my finger move from? Get ready. My head, very good. How did I move my finger? Get ready. Yes, from your head to your elbow. Very good. Again, how did I move my finger? Get ready. Yes, from your head to your elbow. Very good. Say the whole thing about how I moved my finger. Get ready. Yes, you moved your finger from your head to your elbow. Very good. It's your turn. Move your finger from your head to your elbow. Get ready. Very good. Now, how did you move your finger? Get ready. Yes, from your head to your elbow. Very good. Say the whole thing about how you moved your finger. Get ready. Yes, I moved my finger from my head to my elbow. Great work. Guys, now on to our second exercise of the day. And we're going to talk about spotted dogs, dogs, animals, and pets. What are we going to talk about? Get ready. Yes, spotted dogs, dogs, animals, and pets. Very good. You're going to name the four classes a spotted dog is in. What's the smallest class? Get ready. Spotted dogs. What's the next bigger class? Get ready. Pets. Very good. What's the next bigger class? Get ready. Animals. Very good. <clears throat> now listen. There's one kind of object you would find in all those classes. What is the object you would find in all of those classes? Get ready. Spotted dogs, very good. Now let's do another one. This time we're going to talk about things made of cloth, shirts, clothing, striped shirts. What are we going to talk about? Get ready. Yes, things made of cloth, shirts, clothing, and striped shirts. Now listen, what's the smallest class for a striped shirt? Get ready? Striped shirts, very good. What's the next bigger class? Get ready? Shirts, very good. What's the next bigger class? Get ready? Shirts, very good. And what's the biggest class? Get ready. Things made of cloth, very good. <clears throat> There's one kind of object you would find in all those classes. Think, what object is that? Get ready. Yes, striped shirts, very good thinking. Now you're going to get ready to answer some questions about a jump rope. Listen, what are you going to answer questions about? Get ready? A jump rope, very good. Listen, can you carry a jump rope? Get ready? Yes, you could, very good. Can you paint a picture with a jump rope? Get ready? No. Now, can you make a jump rope walk? Get ready? No, very good. Can you step on a jump rope? Get ready? Yes. Can you leave a jump rope out in the rain? Get ready. You could, yes. Can you play with a jump rope? Get ready. You could, very good. Can a boy play with a jump rope? Get ready. Yes, he could. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, a boy can play with a jump rope. Very good. Can a boy make a jump rope walk? Get ready. No, very good. 
say the whole thing. Okay, ready? Yes, a boy cannot make a jump rope walk. Very good. You're doing amazing for this lesson. For the next exercise, you're going to be detectives again. So listen. I'm going to be thinking of an object. Let's see if you can figure out what I'm thinking of. I'll tell you something about the object. It's a vehicle. What do you know about the object? Get ready? Yes, it's a vehicle. Very good. Could I be thinking of a car? Get ready? Yeah. Could I be thinking of a bucket? Get ready? Mm -mm. Could I be thinking of a boat? Get ready? Could I be thinking of a chair? Get ready? Listen, the object I'm thinking of is a vehicle and it has four wheels. Now, what do you know about the object? Get ready? Yes, it's a vehicle and it has four wheels. Very good. Could I be thinking of a bicycle? Get ready? No, why not? Get ready? Yeah, because bicycles only have two wheels. Very good. Could I be thinking of a car? Get ready? I could. Could I be thinking of a wagon? Get ready? Yes, I could. Listen, the object I'm thinking of is a vehicle and it has four wheels and you pull it. Think. Name the object I am thinking of. Get ready. Yes, a wagon. Very good. How do you know I was thinking of a wagon? Get ready. Yes, because it's a vehicle and it has four wheels and you pull it. Very good. Let's do a celebration to celebrate that you are just flying by these lessons. Let's do Oreo cookie. You get your cookie, you open it up, you lick both sides, put it back together, you dip it in the milk, and you eat it all up. And Reese. Now we're going to talk about things, the materials things are made of. I want you to think. Name at least three things that are made of concrete. Get ready. Yes, very good. You can have a sidewalk, a pool, and walls could be made of concrete. Very good. Now think, I need three things that are made of rubber. Get ready. Yes, very good. You can have the eraser, you can have rubber boots, and a rubber band are all things that are made of rubber. Very good. Now I want you to think of this one. And he makes three things made of glass. Get ready. Very good. You can have windows, glasses, even the face of my watch or the face of your phone. Those are all things that are made of glass. Good thinking, guys. It's for a six exercise. Wow, six already. You're going to make up statements of the opposite word. So we're talking about opposites here. Listen, the ocean is noisy. Say the statement. Get ready? Very good. Now say the statement about the opposite of noisy. Get ready? Yes, the ocean is quiet. Now listen, the frog is slow. Say the sentence. Get ready? Very good. Now, say the sentence with the opposite of slow. Get ready? Yes, the frog is fast. Very good. All right, boys and girls, so now we're going to get started with our calendar. Of course, we always talk about today, tomorrow, and one week from today. Listen, today is April, I'm sorry, Friday, April 24th. Friday, April 24th. As you notice, I marked here one week from today. 
which would be May 1st. We would be in May 1st. New month. How exciting. Now, let's get started. Let's talk about today, tomorrow, and one week from today. Tell me the day it is today. Get ready? Friday. Yes. Yay. Tell me the day it is. It will be tomorrow. Get ready? Saturday. Yay. Tell me the day it will be one week from today. Get ready? Yes, it would be Friday all over again. Very good. Now we're going to talk about the dates. Remember, don't let the calendar fool you. I wrote here May 1. What date is it today? Get ready? Yes, Friday, April 24. Very good. Think. Don't let me fool you. What date will it be one week from today. Get ready. Yes, it will be Friday, May 1st. Very good. Let's do the dates again. What is today's date? Get ready. Yes, Friday, April 24th. Tell me tomorrow's date. Get ready. Yes, Saturday, April 25th. Very good. Tell me the date it will be one week from today. Get ready? Yes, Friday, May 1st. Great job, guys. And it's time for our workbook. We're doing lesson 50 today. It looks like this. A five and a five and a zero. Make sure you write your name, date, and goal. And let's get started. Listen. The picture shows a lot of nuts under a tree. In the background, you can see the bragging rats. The little black rat and the wise old rat. The bragging rats had a contest to see who could pick up the most nuts from under that tree in the picture. Some of the nuts have a letter Y on them. Touch those nuts. The nuts with the Y were picked up by the rat with the yellow teeth. Put a yellow mark on all the nuts the yellow tooth rat collected. Remember, those nuts have a Y on them. So you're going to find the ones that have a Y and mark them yellow. Now some of the nuts have the letter B on them. Those nuts, <clears throat> touch one of those nuts, I'm sorry. The nuts with the B were, big, were picked up by the little black rat. Make a black mark on each, the, each nut the black rat collected. So remember, find the ones with the B, with the B, and mark them black. Now listen, some of the nuts have a letter G on them. Touch one of those nuts. Those nuts were collected by the long-tailed gray rat. Make a gray mark on each nut the long-tailed gray rat collected. Now listen, it's your turn to count the nuts collected by each rat and write the numbers in the big box at the bottom of the page. <clears throat> listen, count the nuts collected by the yellow tooth rat and write the number in the top of box. Write the number for the nuts with the Y on them. Use the pencil. So first you're going to count the nuts that have the Y on them. Write down the number. Now count the nuts collected by the gray rat and write the number in the middle box. Write the number for the nuts with the G on them. Use your pencil. So now you're going to count the nuts with the G on them and write the number there. Now you're going to count the nuts collected by the little black rat. Write the number in the bottom box. Write the number for the nuts with the B on them. So the little black rat's nuts go here. Count the nuts with the B and write them here. <clears throat> I 
Now listen, I want you to put your pencil down and grab your red crayon. Touch the top number box. The top number box right here. Everybody, what number did you write for the yellow tooth rat? Get ready. Six. Yes, very good. If you did not write six, use a red crayon and write six on the line right after the box for the yellow tooth rat. If you wrote six, do not do anything. Now touch the middle box, the middle one. Now what did you write for the long-tailed gray rat? What number? Get ready? Eight, very good. If you did not write eight, use your red crayon to write eight on the line right after the box. <clears throat> but if you wrote eight, you don't have to do anything. Now listen, touch the bottom box down here. What number did you write for the little black rat? Get ready? 10, very good. If you did not write 10, use your red crayon and write 10 on the line right after the box for the little black rat. If you wrote 10, you don't have to do anything. So only if you made a mistake and you did not write 10 here, you write it here. Now think, who won the nut collecting con contest? Get ready? Yes, the little black rat. Hi, he's always winning everything. I wonder if one of those bragging rats will ever get to win a contest. Now listen, turn your workbook page over. We're on this side now. <clears throat> the boat. Listen, the picture shows something and where that thing goes. Keep on touching the boat. Now touch a picture that's right below the boat, right under it. It shows where the boat goes. Where does a boat go? Get ready? In the water. Very good. The picture shows that the boat goes in the water. Now, touch the picture of the plane. One of the pictures shows where the plane goes. Touch the picture that shows where the plane goes. Where does the plane go? Get ready? In the sky, very good. Listen, a boat goes in, a, in the water as the plane goes in the sky. Tell me about the boat. Get ready? A boat goes in the water. Tell me about the plane. Get ready? A plane goes in the sky. Very good. I want you to draw a line from the plane to where it goes. Good work. Now touch the next part of the page. And here's the coloring rule for this picture. If an object is made of cloth, color it red. What's the rule? Get ready? Yes, if an object is made of cloth, color it red. Mark an object that is made of cloth. Here's another coloring rule for this picture. If an object is made of metal, color it brown. What's the rule? Get ready? Yes, very good. Now, go ahead and mark the objects that are made of metal. Now, here's one more thing to do. <clears throat> part of the garbage can is missing. What part is missing? Get ready? The lid. Very good. So before you color the can, follow the dots with the pencil and make the lid. That is all for our lesson today, boys and girls. You did amazing. So proud of you. And I will see you again next time. Have a great day. And I will see you soon. Bye.